Max SciTi Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple circuit with using a 555 timer to make an LED blink. Let's get started. The items you'll need is a 555 timer, integrated circuit, a simple LED, a 1 microfarad electrolytical capacitor, and two 1K ohm resistors, and a 470K ohm resistor, some jumper wires, and of course your breadboard. And you put the negative part of your capacitor and your positive part of your capacitor onto pin one and pin two. Pin one is negative and pin two will have the positive of the capacitor, just like that. Now you take your LED and you have your cathode on the left and you have your anode on the right. Connect the cathode to pin 1 of your 555 timer and your anode on pin 3 of your 555 timer. Just like that. Now you want to do is take your 1k ohm resistor, put it between the anode of the LED and pin 3, just like that. 1k ohm resistor and connect it to pin 8 and 7. Your 470k ohm resistor between pin 6 and 7, just like that. Now you take a jumper cable and connect pin 8 to pin 4. Pin 8. Pin 4. There you go. 8 and 4 is connected. Now you take another jumper cable and connect it from pin 2 to connect to pin 6. Pin 2 and 6 are connected. Now you connect pin 8 to a jumper cable, and that will connect to the positive rail. Pin 8 is positive, and pin 1 is negative. Now you connect the jumper cable to pin 1. connected to, to the negative rail. And now it's time to power the circuit. I have my two connectors for my lab bench power supply connected to 5 volts. Positive to positive, negative to negative, and this will power your circuit just like that. And now your LED is now blinking. And there you have it, a blinking LED with using a 555 timer. Now if you want, you can change the blink rate by removing the capacitor and replacing it with another capacitor with a different value. I have right here a 3.3 microfarad capacitor, and watch what happens when you connect that to the circuit. And now the LED starts blinking slower because of higher capacitance. The capacitor changes the square wave signal. Now let's go ahead and remove the capacitor and put a 104 picofarad capacitor. it in just like this and as you can see the LED flashes much faster because the capacitor has a lower capacitance which then changes the signal of the square wave. 
the LED is actually flashing faster in person than it is on camera, because of course the frame rate in the camera kind of messes up the flashing rate and makes it look slower. In person, it actually looks like a strobe light. And there you have it, a very simple flashing LED circuit with using a 555 timer and using different capacitors to change the different blink rates. Thank you for watching SciTiTech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more SciTiTech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.